I'm not a morning person. Definitely not a morning person. <sighs> Let's get up. Alright, so I guess I get up get in the shower. Well, not I guess, but. You know? Get in the shower, brush my teeth. Start my day. A little tired, but I was fine. Fast forward. Uh, I'm in the car now. If y'all don't know, I do work for Sport Clips. So not permanently, just situational thing. You know what I mean? Just so I can write it up. <laughs> it's easy money. You know what I mean? Guaranteed money. Uh, I do work out of the shop too, though. So, like, after work. I go to the shop, you know what I mean? So basically I work two jobs, you know what I mean? But no, no biggie, you know what I mean? No biggie. So what we doing right now, I'm just driving there to work. It's crazy because I actually got like a, I don't stay close to, to where I work. Uh, I live in Milwaukee and I work in Grafton, if you know where that's at. So. That's like, people that's not from here, uh, that's like 30 minutes out, out of the city. But I mean, that's where the, the people with the money stay, you know what I mean? So we finna go to work, uh, work from nine to three. I'm gonna try to get out of here early. Like, man, I got a client waiting on me at 3.30. And I'm all 30 minutes outside the city. So you know what I mean? I don't be trying to be late to my clients and stuff. So I'm gonna, try to leave early it should be enough of us here at work for me to leave early you know what i mean i don't know if it's gonna be busy or not it ain't been too busy this week so i don't know we shall see but just driving there um i actually do like to drive because it, it helped me kind of wake up a little bit you know what i mean i'm not a morning person so when i say i'm always tired it don't matter how much sleep i get tired <laughs> but um sleep is for it's for the broke people anyway or no actually it's for the rich you know what i mean i can sleep when i get rich but for right now i ain't gonna say it ain't no sleep but um we working we grinding you know what i mean we staying up late nights putting in that work doing what we gotta do to make our dreams come true <laughs> should have been a rapper but, um, yeah, so I'll update y'all throughout the day, you know what I'm saying, how my day going, show y'all a couple pictures of the, uh, of some heads or like some videos, some cuts that I do while I'm at work, and after that we head into the shop, I think, I think I got maybe five appointments at the shop when I'm off, off work, so got a couple. You know what I mean? So, let's get to this money. Okay, so I know I keep saying I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show y'all when I get to the work and uh, my first client and stuff, but I had to uh, let y'all know something. Your boy did finally get approved by um by the state of Texas TDLR. I'm licensed. I finally transferred my license. So when I'm ready to move. I'm out of Milwaukee, like, it's over. Um, honestly, my plan, what I really wanna do is uh, I'm gonna work for probably the next five to six months, you know what I mean? Try to shoot for New Year's to move, but honestly, I think it's gonna be more like November, but what I wanna do is uh, I wanna, you know, stack up my money saved, and then hopefully when I get there and find an apartment, I can, um, 
I can just pay my rent off for like half a year, six, six to, you know what I'm saying, six to 12 months of the year. Probably like a good six months, three to six months of the year, just pay that off. So I don't even have to worry about, you know what I'm saying, paying rent. And then honestly, I don't want to work no job, man. Like, I will, like y'all see me, I'm going, to, I'm going to work right now. But do I like working a job? No, I want to work for myself, have my own clientele. And I think with a with a city as big as Houston, I think I could do that. Like it won't be as easy as my city. Like you know what I mean. I I knew people here, even though most of the people that I knew didn't support me. You know what I mean. But it's different from the from the city you're from. So I don't know. I've been wanting to move to to Houston for a while now. So that's what we're doing. Putting putting my dreams into reality. You know what I'm saying. Putting in this hard work so I can so I can accomplish that. That's that's mainly why I'm working a job right now. Other than that, I would just be at the shop trying to build my own clientele and stuff. But since I don't even want to be in Milwaukee for, you know what I'm saying, most of the time, it kind of is working backwards. But another thing I was thinking is I can uh, be in one city, you know what I'm saying, at a week at a time. Or, you know what I'm saying, be in Houston two weeks at a time, you know what I'm saying, or either. Honestly, I was going to have an apartment in Houston and keep my house in Milwaukee and just try to pay both rents and try to have clientele in, in both cities. But I don't know, you know what I mean? I know it won't be easy, especially, you know what I'm saying? Trying to network or cross, cross back and forth between the cities and all that. But if it's God's name and God's will, I'll get it done. Listen, I am I am a strong belief in, believer in God and I know, I know God got me whatever I want to do. I feel like the visions and the dreams, you know what I mean? That, it's placed in your head. It ain't it, it ain't in your head for no reason, you know? Let me roll this window up, because they got music playing. But it's not in your head for no reason, you know what I mean? God, or whatever you believe in, you know what I mean? I believe in God, but whatever you believe in, higher power, whatever, the universe, whatever. It was placed in your head for a reason, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't sleep on your dreams. Don't sleep on your, on your on your visions and your ambitions and, and the things you really want to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're making it happen. I said I wanted to do YouTube. Now I'm close to getting my first check. You know what I mean? It, it ain't nothing that's going to happen overnight. And I know that, especially with building clientele, being brand new in the city, no one, nobody knows me. I mean, I know it ain't going to happen overnight, but I'm down, I'm down to grind and, and put it in the work. You know what I mean? Whoever we gonna support me, gonna support me. And I, I know that it happened. So yeah, let's get this McDonald's. I'm next in line. <laughs> next in line, you know what I mean? So other than that, I'm gonna really just eat this food and then I'm going to clock in to work. All right, y'all. So I've been at work for like almost three hours now, basically. I didn't do, uh, let me see. I didn't do four haircuts. It's been slow today. It's one, two. It's five of us here. They really don't need five of us here. Like, ain't nobody even on the board to check in. And that's why I don't necessarily like working jobs, but you know what I mean? I'm gonna be getting the base pay rate, the tips, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Um, I've been forgetting to take pictures or videos of my haircuts because it don't be nothing special, like, you know what I mean? Nothing special, but we are for another three more hours. Finna get this little, you know, base rate of pay. Probably do like three or four more people if we get busy. Um, I'm probably gonna leave early a little bit just so I can make it to the shop on time, you know. Well, early is on time, so. I don't know. I might just holler at y'all when I get there. Let's get it. All right, y'all, it's been slow as ever. So I'm sitting here phone jobs. I ain't really even doing much, to be honest. Like, they don't need me. <laughs> but um, I told y'all, I'm, I'm going to stay to like 2.30, 2.40, you know what I mean? Other than that, I got to go. I'll be early. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to I ain't doing much. Chilling. 
I'll be just sitting here back plotting, thinking of finding, thinking of way that I don't technically have to work a job. Cause I, man, to me, this just be some BS, man. You know what I mean? But you gotta get to the bag. You know what I mean? One way or another. All right. So look, my bad. I forgot to record me leaving uh, work and shit, but I made it to the shop. I just got done with my first head at the shop. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna put it in the picture, like, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere like, <laughs> right in there. But um, I got FOMO, let's get it. So what's up, gang? Say y'all, them the four boys, just got them all crispy, you know what I mean? And that's how we do that. All right, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I'm tired, but, I'm gonna still sweep this hair up. <laughs> hey, this is my job. I just put hair on the floor for a living. You know what I mean? I don't really do do much else. I just put hair on the floor for a living. But uh, y'all seen the four boys that I just did? Shout out to them. Hey, mama. Well, shout out to their mama for bringing them. You know what I mean? They've been coming to me for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? I give them crispy every time. Take takes me a while to get all four of them. You know what I'm saying? Especially with kids, you gotta. You gotta have patience. So, with that being said, that's gonna wrap up my day. You know what I mean? With the five heads I did at the shop, I think I had a total of six or seven heads at work, which is, I usually have like double or triple that, to be honest, but they've been um at work, they, they've been scheduling like five or, five or six of us at a time. You know what I mean? That's some BS, bro. Like, you know what I mean? We ain't making no money, but I'ma still go. <laughs> I'ma still go. But uh yeah, I'm finna wrap up my day at the shop. I ain't really doing too much after this. I'm finna go home. Relax. Um probably edit this video. Get this out to y'all as soon as I can. Other than that, I'll be chilling, man. You know what I mean? It's just a day in the life of a barber. Peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe, gang. Oh yeah, real quick before I before I really get out of here. <laughs> hey, I'm coming to Texas. I'll be in Houston. Um July 16th through the 20th is when I'll be cutting here. So if y'all in Houston, let me know. If y'all want to network, connect, collab, I'll be in Houston those days. We could we could definitely collab, especially on um Sunday and Monday, I probably won't be doing doing too much of anything. I'm not really trying to, I ain't gonna say, I'm not trying to cut hair them days, because I will, you know what I'm saying, somebody hit me up, but, you know what I'm saying, Sundays and Monday using my relax day, I'll probably go to like Camp Houston or something, but, yeah, if you down to network, if you down to come get your hair cut, if you down to just have a conversation, or if you want to be friends, let me know, you know what I mean, comment below, DM me on Instagram, you know what I mean? At Trey Styles, Trade Out Styles underscore. Y'all know what it is, gang. Like, comment, and subscribe. We out of here, gang.